What's up guys, it is Friday and as promised, we're back on the Lexus. I said it was going to be something a bit more entertaining. I was kind of right. It's how to make your car maybe a wee bit sketchy. So, already done this side, just to get an idea of how much actually needs to come away. But as you can see, we can now see everything. And obviously, this all needs repainted anyway, so I don't care about cutting it. Yes, some people might argue that that's a lot of area to take out the strut tower, but we'll weld up these two seams, and once it's on the ground and we know kind of where it is, we'll make up a wee kind of dome plate over where it needs to go. So we've kind of marked out the kind of main points on this side. Um, not sure what I'm going to do about the back edge though. I might need to do that from underneath because I don't really want to take this off and then have to re-bleed the whole system. Could be doing with a wee bit of fluid in it anyway. That's a bit low. Oh dear. Should always check your fluids, kids. But anyway, I'll get the tripod out, cities up there, and we'll time lapse the cutting because it took a lot longer than I thought it would on that side. So I'm not going to make you sit through normal pace speed. If that makes sense. Right, I'm not sure at what point the time lapse would have stopped because I didn't realise Jed took over. Jed so kindly washed the fiesta and pointed the phone at himself, and that's going to be part of. A different video because we've got some stuff going on with the fiesta give you a wee, a wee sneak peek if you can spot the difference you know if you don't know you just need to watch the next video but we have progress on the the good lexus so that side went really nicely this side ended up being a bit of a nightmare because brake pipes brake pipes brake pipes abs pump reservoir nightmare so what i had to do was oh, i don't know if i focus drop the bottom bolt out of the struts to allow the arm to come down further so i was actually able to get the grinder in from the inside so what we're going to need to do or what i'm going to need to get my dad to do more more likely where these are double skinned i'm going to need to get him to weld them together and same with the kind of old support bits get them kind of extended and welded together again both sides on both sides further enough but i am going to get the struts bolted back up get the wheels on get it off jack stands and we can see if it's much lower i'm not predicting this to solve the bumper not touching the floor situation um i'm only expecting it to gain 10 15 mil at a push um peter Irish Pete, he had a, well, still has, it's just in a bit of a state, a static IS200 on Tesla wheels, really cool, I'll put a wee picture in here for his Instagram, um, he has been at me to get the hard race 30mm roll centre adjusters, the car has roll centre adjusters in it at the moment to clear the big brakes, so what I need to do is I need to measure them just to double check, I think they're 15 mil. If they are 15 mil, going with the hard race ones will give me a further 15 mil on top of what we've already gained from cutting these holes. And a lot of people say, "Oh, why not getting shortened spindles? Why are you cutting holes in the towers?" I have tried to find someone willing to shorten my spindles for months and months and months. The only people willing to do it are down south. I can't seem to get any breakers to take spindles off a car and instead of posting them to me, to post it to whoever's willing to weld it. Um, plus, if, if I was to end up skidding with it, and I know a lot of people do it, that's just a further point of could potentially snap if you're under, even if you're just driving normally, to be fair. Um, so doing it this way means all the strength is still in the spindle. All the strength will be put back into the tower by the time we weld up the seams and put a plate back over because that will essentially replicate exactly how it was OEM, just a bit higher up. 
Um, Honda boys do it all the time. Um, there'll probably be plenty of videos Honda wise on it. Um, so it just kind of it sounds really backwards, but it's a bit of a peace of mind thing. I know the spindle's untouched. I know it's not going to make a difference. Um, so yeah, let's get it off the jack stands and see what kind of difference we've got. So as we can see now, it's definitely a touch lower. Um, still not exactly where I want it to be, but beforehand there was tyre showing up at the top point here. It's now pretty much sitting on lip if I was to space them that way. You could, before, get your shoe all the way under. Now you can. So that's a partial success. You can actually see now that it's aired out how far the upper arm actually comes through the tower. And if I get the bit that we cut out that side and place it here, you can actually see just how much it's allowed it to drop just off of that alone. Um, so next up, as I said, we'll get the hard race roll centre adjusters. That should lift. So that won't essentially drop the car. What that will more do is lift the hub further up. So by the time that's spaced, that should take the wheel up a further 15 mil, which, let's see, where are we at? So another 15 mil should have us actually tucking lip with wings that are actually radius differently to have more clearance for going sideways. So that's a big bonus. Um, that'll probably be it for this video. Looks so much better just off of that, but this still isn't on the floor. And that's that's what we need, we just need that wee. So yeah, that'll probably be it for this video. Um, as I said, we won't be able to get any welding done or anything until I speak to my dad and see when he can get it. Cause it's more or less gonna need to go to his instead of him coming here. Um, because I'm going to need to take out the bags and everything in the upper arms just so that we can actually properly get in, get everything welded. Um, maybe if I can get a back box in time, get them to do that at the same time because that would be fantastic. So I can stop listening to see if I can put another wee video in. It's not great, not great at all. So keep your eyes peeled, we'll be back on the Lexus soon. The video after this will be Fiesta content. I gave you the, the sneak preview earlier. Um, we've got some bits, doing some bits. After the next video, the front end should be like a complete transformation. Um, and we'll obviously compare pictures from when I first got it and multiple PCs compared to how it is after the next video. So. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, proper YouTube chat, and we'll see you in the next one.